Good afternoon. This is Brett Hayworth for Siouxland Public Media News. A special commemoration of the notable 1989 crash landing of a plane near the Sioux Gateway Airport took place Friday afternoon at a Sioux City Museum. Participants said it is important to remember how Siouxlanders responded to help the 184 crash survivors, plus not to forget the 112 people who died. In advance of those events for the 35th anniversary of the United Flight 232 crash, Flight Attendant Susan White spoke to Siouxland Public Media News. I have been in touch with everyone from the crew, and so I'm glad to be here to represent our entire crew and just to be able to thank the city and the community for what they did for us that day. More than 40 agencies responded when the DC-10 aircraft flying from Denver to Chicago had mechanical problems and crash landed. Pausing as she spoke to collect herself, White said it is still not easy to process her very distinct memories of the crash. I love to be back here to, to, to see everyone and um, know that my life was saved along with so many others. It is, it's emotional to be back here for sure, but I want to come back. I want to keep coming back and you know, because if it wasn't for Sioux City and Place and the, the pilots, and I, I wouldn't be alive and have had all this you know, 38 year or 35 years of extended life. Medical personnel flocked to these city's two hospitals. People waiting to donate to the blood bank stretched in a line down the street. Mid-American Museum of Aviation and Transportation board member Pam Mickelson said the event was needed in part to inform a new generation of Siouxlanders to hear the details about that July 19, 1989 day. A lot of raw emotions that come with it, but I think it makes such an impression on people that the community came together. There were people who drove miles to come and help. And all of these different stories are the way we remember things. Also in the Friday events, a professor from Maryland, Mitchell Simmons, presented his research, Flight Crew Communications Through the Eyes of United Flight 232 Flight Attendant, Susan White. This was the first major anniversary marked for the crash since 2014, as there were no ceremonies five years ago for the 30th anniversary. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Brett Hayworth.